At that last Apple keynote, Apple unveiled the new 9.7 inch iPad Pro. Basically in every video I've released since then, I every time I've said iPad Pro, I've said it should have been called the iPad Air 3 and I'm right not just for the sense that it makes naming things easier so people know what you're talking about, but also it doesn't go along with their other product lineups. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. The original iPad that came out in 2010, Steve Jobs did it himself, was 9.7 inches. That was the ideal size of a tablet. Then after he died, bye bye Steve. Apple, they did a lot of decisions that Steve Jobs wouldn't have gone for, and one of them was making a smaller iPad, the iPad Mini. That's a proper name because that's exactly what it is, a smaller iPad, measuring in at 7.9 inches. And the great thing about that Mini is it didn't cut down on specifications. Johnny Ive put it well when he introduced it. He said we wanted the iPad Mini not to be a reduction of the iPad, but a concentration. Good wording there, Johnny. It's like a freaking poet or something. But I love that terminology so much because it's so accurate of what that product is. The resolution isn't lower than the full-size iPad at that time, and the specs were the same, the camera was the same. You were getting everything you would get in a larger version, but just smaller. So it had those same specifications, but different size, so it got a different name, the iPad mini. Makes sense. And then back in October when the iPad Pro, this thing, came out, they stuck with the rule. They gave it a new name because it was a new size, 12.9 inches. After four generations of the original iPad, then they released the iPad Air, followed by the iPad Air 2, which which came out a while ago, back in iOS 8 days, and I bring up iOS 8 because back in iOS 8, you could not do the split view multitasking thing. So when the Air 2 came out, it felt really useless because that wasn't a feature. It was just like, hey, the specs are better. That's about it. Please buy it. And people did because, you know, it's Apple. But once iOS 9 came out, then the upgrade to the Air 2 made sense because you could do the multitasking, two apps at once thing. So anyway, it's been a while since they've updated the iPad Air. And back in October, when they released the iPad Pro, we didn't get any updates to the mini or the air and then when i read about a 9.7 inch ipad being in the works for the march event i figured oh good they're finally addressing the air lineup and that at this keynote we'd see the ipad air 3 so it was time it was due it's been a while and they go ahead and call it the 9.7 inch ipad pro which makes no sense for various reasons okay so sure the apple pencil works with it and then the smart connector keyboard also goes along with it because we never had a minimized keyboard attachment to our 9.7 inch ipads before that's what everyone wants, right? A physical tiny keyboard. You don't want a keyboard that size, right? No, you want it that size. Don't look up my notes. I'm reading these. Gotta keep my place. Anyway, this 9.7 inch iPad Pro had an A9X processor. It was supposed to be just as fast as the full version iPad Pro. At least that's what Apple told us. And then some Geekbench tools revealed to us that it's actually slower by a little bit on the processor stage and that it has half the RAM. Apple didn't tell us this. They don't like to tell us how much RAM anything has. That's why we have to get all these other apps to tell us for us. So the 12.9 inch, that has four gigs of RAM. This new one has two, which if you're a computer nerd or a so-called pro, because you're an iPad pro, see the word play, whatever. RAM is kind of important. So I feel like multitasking would make a difference if you only have half the RAM. Ugh, just talking about the different iPads is confusing to me now. I can't just say iPad pro anymore because that could mean two different tablets, one 9.7, one 12.9 inches. So now whatever tablet I'm talking about, I have to tell you the screen size of it. Before I could say the iPad Pro and you would know I meant this, but now when I say iPad Pro, I could be talking about the 9.7 inch one. So the new 9.7 inch iPad Pro now has flash, personally, as an Apple sheep. That's showing desperation because they could have added that a long time ago and they never did, but now it's here. So they're running out of ideas. A tonal display because someone was asking for that. And a 4K camera, which, you know, camera on the iPad. So those three things, the 12.9 inch iPad Pro does not have. These are two different iPads. Why are they given the same name? The cheaper one has some things the big one doesn't. So it's like you want an iPad Pro, here's what you get for $600. But if you upgrade to the $800 version, you lose the 4K, you lose the flash, and you lose the tonal display. When you're paying for a higher configuration of something, you're not supposed to lose features. It's supposed to be better and better the more you invest into it. So instead of calling these two iPads the same thing, the Pro and the Pro, except now we have to say 12.9 and 9.7, just spewing out all these numbers is annoying. Why couldn't we we just say the iPad Air 3 has a 4K camera, tonal display, and flash. That's very simple. So then the Pro has the advantage of RAM, the advantage of its size, and its processor's a little better. Each of these tablets have their own benefits. So why would we compare them as the same lineup of product? This isn't the first time Apple has refused to say that number three, mind you. No, no, this goes way back. And you know, Valve won't do it either. Classic example. They did Portal and Portal 2, never Portal 3. They did Half-Life, Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1, Half-Life 2 
2, Episode 2, Left 4, there's a 4, but not a 3, Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead 2, maybe a Left 4 Dead 3, but not here yet, go over to Apple, and we started with the original iPad, and that was followed up by the iPad 2. Then they made the new iPad. It wasn't called the 3, they just said it's the new one. Well, I don't know why. And then they made a different one that was exactly the same, except it used the lightning connector instead of the 30 pin. Okay. And then they made the iPad Air, and then the iPad Air 2. In the iPad Mini series, we had the first iPad Mini, the iPad Mini 2, and then we had the iPad Mini 3. They actually said it, except it was the most useless upgrade ever. It was exactly the same as the iPad Mini 2. Same specs, same camera, same screen, no changes except Touch ID was added. That's the only thing they changed, Touch ID, which like probably 20% of iPad users actually use. But guess what? When the iPad Air 2 came out, they released the iPad Mini 4, which was an actual mini upgrade because it got better specs so you could do the split view stuff once iOS 9 came out. But guess what they did? They kept selling the Mini 2, but not the Mini 3. They discontinued it. If you go to the list of iPads to compare, the Mini 3 is gone. It goes Mini 4, Mini 2. There's just a 4 and a, a 2. Why would you do that? That doesn't make sense. Why not have the bottom line iPad that's cheapest for everyone have Touch ID? You made that, it exists, had it for a year, and then threw it out because you don't like saying the number 3. For some reason, you won't explain. Why not keep the 3 and get rid of the 2? Why does no one want to say 3? I can do it. Watch this. Th Come to think of it, I never made a third episode to the iOS is better than OS 10 series. Oh god, I'm part of the problem. Crap, don't worry, I'm working on one. That was a joke. And by the way, I made three podcasts, so there you go, there's three. Maybe for now on, I should call it Podcast 2, Episode 1 and 2, and then just skip to 2.5 or something. This is Apple's reasoning. Anyway, that's why they should have called the new iPad Pro 9.7 inch version the iPad Air 3. I hope that made sense to you. And yeah, I get this is stupid. I think it's a great tablet. I just hate the way we have to describe it all the time. Let me know what you think of their name scheming down below and I'll read it because I don't have a lot of subscribers and I read all the comments, good and bad. If they're really bad, you'll be featured in Refried Friday. All right, that's enough plugs. This is your Apple Sheep here and I will see you in the next one.